Hello! Time for a little lesson on circle stuff. So we're starting this brand new unit. It's all about circles and stuff with circles. Uh, it's going to be a lot of arcs and chords and tangents. And we're, we're just kind of on the first lesson here, just figuring out how to name all this stuff. And when I say something like an inscribed angle, you know what I'm talking about. Or I say a central angle or a chord and things like that. And so uh, the first lesson is mainly focused on vocab. So the first thing with vocab with circles is realizing circles are named by their center. Uh, so, uh, on the first one here, if I label this A, this is now circle A. Um, and circles have this thing called a radius. If you go from the center out to the edge, uh, and you label that point, we now have created this thing called a radius. All the radii on a circle are the exact same length. That's kind of what makes it a circle. Uh, and so this here would be AB is the, is an, is a radius of circle A. And uh, the center of the circle is point A. So there we go. The uh, next thing is called a chord. A chord is just any line segment with the endpoints on the circle. So if I label this D and this E, then DE is a chord of circle A. Well, there's a special kind of chord that if you go through the center of your circle, we've now created a thing called a diameter. Uh, and so if I label these things C and B, I can say that CB, segment CB, is the diameter, is a diameter of circle A. Uh, there are infinitely many diameters. They just usually a chord that goes through the center, and it's a diameter. Uh, diameter is exactly twice as long as a radius, and we've, we've seen that before. Uh, next thing, uh, an angle that intersects the circle at two points and has a vertex at the center is called a central angle. So if I just draw some lines out like this, Put a label these. I'm going to label this one as uh, B, this one F, because I want to name this angle BAF. Um, that's angle BAF, B to A to F, and it draws that angle. And this is called a central angle because the vertex is at the center. You can also create an angle where the vertex and the points are on the circle, and this thing's called an inscribed angle. So if I do D, B, C. This is now central uh, inscribed angle D, B, C. It's an inscribed angle versus central angle. Uh, those are just things you have to differentiate between. We're going to use those a whole lot. Central angle, inscribed angle. Uh, and something that helps in realizing which one's inscribed or central is noticing this thing about shapes in circles. So if I, uh, if I make a, um, a quadrilateral here, which is just a four-sided shape inside my circle. And let's give it some labels here, B, C, D, and E. Um, this shape, uh, quadrilateral, B, C, D, A, sorry, B, C, D, E, has been circumscribed by circle A. So circumscribe means the circle hits all the vertices of your shape. Um, and that's very similar to this uh, definition of what an inscribed figure is. An inscribed figure is a figure that's completely contained inside uh, the circle, and all the vertices are on it. So there's some slight difference between the two. Um, I'm going to name, I'm usually going to call these just inscribed shapes because that's similar to inscribed angles. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit different definition between the two things. Um, and then you also have to know about tangent lines and secant lines. You may have noticed that. Uh, remember that from our trigonometry uh, unit. We had secant, we had tangent. Um, well, this is similar. Uh, so if you have a line and it comes by and it hits exactly once, this thing is called uh, a tangent line. And this is why when you say someone goes off on a tangent, this is like your conversation, and someone just goes, whoop, just way off line, just like take one point and then carry it off to somewhere else where you weren't, and it's called tangent. So this would be, this line would be a tangent line, line BC as a tangent line, and then the point of tangency is B, because it's the point at which it hit, the tangent hits. Um, if you have a line that comes through and it hits twice, it's now called a secant line. So if I label this B, and C, uh, we now have a secant line called BC. Uh, and then just a few more words here. Uh, if you have a, a part of the circle that goes around, it's called an arc. This thing's called an arc. Um, 
if you have uh, so if it happens to be between two points here it's called an intercepted arc uh, this over here is also an arc like going from B to D to C uh, and we'll get more into that a little bit later um, when you have when you create a central angle uh, the arc that goes there is going to be the same measurement as the central angle and again we'll we'll be getting more into that later um, so we have an inscribed angle here this part here is called an arc it's called an intercepted arc so an arc is just part of a circle uh, it happens to be inside another shape it's called intercepted uh, uh, an inscribed intercepted arc so there you go um, those are the main vocab things you know right now uh, there are more notes to be done but uh, that's for future lessons so let's just jump over to the assignment that goes along with this it's called identify circle parts and it's really just like here's a picture i want you to name stuff about it and so it's just like okay i want you to name a chord well we got this chord here from b to d well let me actually write b not three b d and since it's a segment you should put the line segment over top Ta-da, we wrote a chord. And now when you identify a tangent line, and so it's like, okay, where's something that hits at just one point and keeps going? It's right here. That's from H to G, and it is a line. So I'm gonna put my line symbol on top, just put arrows on the end. It is now line HG. So that's what's going on in that first section. Um, on the next section, you're writing, uh, what's the best term to describe the thing? So we got A to F here which is technically a chord, but it's also a diameter. Uh, what I want you to do is like go for the most specific term. Uh, and so we're gonna go with diameter, because uh, it's not just any old chord, it's one that goes through the center, which means it's a diameter, which is more sp special, more specific than just plain old chord. And so you just go down the list and you like, what does that thing tell you about the circle? What is it? What's the way to describe it? Uh, and when you get to the bottom, again, it's got another shape. Uh, and I want you to label points on this. Uh, if something doesn't exist, for instance, here it's asking for a point of tangency. Um, there are no tangent lines in this picture, so you can just put NA, or not applicable, or none, because uh, it doesn't exist. So there you go. So that's what's going on on this assignment, just practicing this vocab terms a little bit.